Welcome to another video with Mr. Long where we are learning how to code and we are using Delphi for that. In our previous video, part four, we looked at how we could add code to our project. So we started the coding process and this is just an add on video to that part four where we are going to consolidate some of the ideas we learned in the previous video as well as particularly looking at how we can change a component's position on a form using code. So let's recap what we learned about the position on the form. So before we get into that, let's just go back to our old mathematical days. And you might remember something that looked like this in math. So that was the Cartesian plane. Um, and so if you remember, there was an X and a Y value. And uh, that point right in the middle, that was the origin where the X value was zero and the Y value was zero. That was our starting point. And so what would happen is if we moved, for example, that, that, that point, if we moved it to the right, then we are affecting the x value because the x value determines the left and the right of a particular point. So if we moved it to there, the x value will change, for example, to a 20. So basically, if we move to the right, x gets bigger. And obviously, the reverse is also true. If we move to the left, the x would get smaller. Okay. So now, what happens if I move that little point, if I move it up a little bit? If I go up now, we are affecting the Y value, because the Y value is how we determine the up and down value of that particular point. So the Y value will now increase, let's say, for example, 20. So if we recap that, you know that moving up, the Y value gets bigger, and obviously the reverse. If I move down, the Y value gets smaller. So if you remember that from mathematics, then we can go and look at our form. Now, in our form, the origin or the point where it's zero and zero is technically in the top left hand corner. And the only other thing is we don't actually have an X and a Y value. We have a left and a top property. So the left is almost like our X value and the top is almost like our Y value. So there is our origin. Technically, that's the zero zero point. So it's a slightly different way of thinking. So it's not exactly like a Cartesian plane. You've got to think in different directions. So let's let's try an example. So let's say I'm going to move that point to the right. So if our left value was originally zero and we're moving it this way, we are making it a bigger value. So the left gets bigger. It means moving something to the right. It's almost like counterintuitive. You think, oh, the left must be bigger must be going to the left. No, if the left value gets bigger, then we are moving to the right, if that makes sense. Okay, so moving to the left, moving to the right, left gets bigger. And obviously the reverse is the true. If I move, if I make the left smaller, that means we are moving back towards the left. Okay, so there we go. So that we understand that particular aspect. Now, what happens if I move down? If I move down, then I'm affecting the top value. Now, the top value was originally a zero, and so now it's going to get bigger. So therefore, if we move down, the top property gets bigger, which is slightly different to what we had in the Cartesian plane example. And if we move the top value to be smaller, we're going to go up. So it's almost like the reverse of what you are thinking. So left getting bigger goes right, top getting bigger goes down. Okay. So what I've got over here is I've got a form where I've got a shape. We've learned about shapes. I called it SHP ball. So there's a shape, it's circle, it's yellow. And I created four buttons and each of them have an up, a down, left, a right. And they're called BTN left or BTN up. Or so. so if you want to do this, pause this video and then you can try create that form quickly. And so you can try it out when we get to the actual code. So pause and then try to do it and then unpause when you are ready to continue with the code. Okay, so hopefully you've had time to create this form. So what we're going to do is I want to write code on this up button that's going to move the ball up. Okay, now we did something similar in the previous video. So let's try it. We are changing the property, the up or the, the property that goes up and down is the top property. Remember the top property. If I click on the, the ball at the moment, you will notice that the top property is 72. And if I move that ball up, you'll notice that the top property is now 40. So basically we want to make the top property smaller for it to move up. That's how we make it move up. Okay, so I moved it to 79 now, so it's 79. So if I click on that button, I want the top property of the shape ball, SHP ball, to become smaller. Okay, so that's, that's our goal. So if I double click on this button, so we can get to the code for that button, now I'm at the code for when you click on the up button, BTN up. And what am I changing? I'm changing the shape ball, SHP ball. Now what property of that ball, that shape are we changing? We're changing its top property. 
the top property is currently is currently a 79 if I change it to a 40 that means that that ball will move up okay so just changing the top property to a smaller value will mean that the ball will now move up so let's run the program and see if it works so there we go. if I click on the up button did you see the ball moved up the problem is if I click on the up button again it does nothing well it doesn't do nothing it's still running that code except for it's changing it to 40 but it's already at 40 so we're not seeing a change in its movement but what happens if I want to see a change I want to see it continually going up that's what I actually want to do so we actually want to make it increment in small little bits so let's say we wanted to increment or decrease or go smaller by about 10 so let's think about this so it's currently currently 79 so let's change it actually to to a round number let's make it the top property 80 okay so it's 80 at the moment when I click on up I wanted to go to 70 and then I click on again it must go to 60 so I wanted to go smaller by 10 so it must go down by 10 so if you think down by 10 we you think in minus in by 10 so some people think of this and they go up well that makes sense you're just going to take the ball property and minus 10 minus 10 there we go. so minus 10 that's not actually correct and I'll show you why so if you run this we should you we wanted to go up go up a little bit but if i click the up property it's almost all the way to the top how is that well that's not minus in 10 to the top property that is just changing the value to a negative 10 and if we know that the the value is negative is zero there so then negative 10 is going to be somewhere at, it's going to actually go off screen a little bit so that's what's happening there so how do i make it go incrementally or decrementally by 10 go down by negative 10 little bit by little bit okay so what do we want to do well uh, it's currently so if we think about it it's currently this changes completely we, we, the, the shape the top property is currently 80 I want to take that 80 and I want to minus 10 from it so I want to take the value that is in the top property which at the moment is 80 and I'm going to minus 10 so that 80 value minus 10 is now going to become a 70 now what do I want to do with that answer because I'm, I'm not yeah I'm not changing anything I'm just taking the value from there taking the value from there and subtracting them I want to store it somewhere I want to store that back into the shape property stop so the the top property of the shape so I want to take the top property of the shape and I want to change it to what currently is in the top property of the ball minus 10 get a new answer and put it back into the top property so think about that take the value of what's in the top at the moment yeah we're not changing it we're just getting the value we minus in 10 from that value it's not changing it we're just getting the value which is 80 we minus in 10 to an 80 and putting that 70 result back into the top property and now the top property will now be 70. so the next time it runs this code it'll get the current value of the top which will then be a 70 minus 10 what's 70 minus 10 that's 60 what do we want to do with that 60 put it back into the top property so let's run it quickly and see if what that does so if i click on up you see it went up a little bit but if i keep on clicking on up it's going to keep on going up again and again until it actually completely goes off the screen okay we'll learn about how to stop that at another stage but you get the idea now i can't get it back unless i can get it go down so let's write the code for going down well it would technically be the exact same code as this but we want our top property to get bigger so instead of minus in 10 we're going to be plus in 10 so it's almost the exact same i'm going to copy this and when i go to the down button so here's the code for the up button here's the code for the down button and this code is going to be exactly the same I'm going to paste it here but instead of taking the top value and minus in 10 we're going to take the top value and plus 10 so it's currently at the beginning it's an 80 take that 80 plus 10 what's 80 plus 10 90 put that value at 90 back into the top property so now we have a new top property of 90 so it's going to go down a little bit and then we take the 90 again plus 10 make it 100 so let's have a look at what it's doing so if I go up, if I go down, do you see it goes down? And if I go up, it takes the current value and adds and minus 10. Now we add in 10. And now we're going up and down. There we go. Now the left and right is exactly the same, except for instead of the top property, we're dealing with the, yes, you guessed it, the left property. So for that, we're going to go, let's go to the right. So for this button, so there's the right button, there's the down, there's the up. So the right 
we are taking the shape ball what property the left property and that must equal whatever is currently in the balls left property and we want to move it to the right in other words we want the left value to get bigger so we're going to plus 10 that remember we said right going to the right means making it bigger so the left property must take its current left property add 10 to it and put it back into the left property let's see if that works moving to the right yes and then we just have to copy this and on the left button our left value is getting smaller so we are going to minus 10 so on the left button we take the left property of the shp ball minus 10 and put that back into the left property so now i have a ball that i can move up and down i can go left and right i can go left and up down and right it's up to you so there we go you can play around with moving components on your form well done you made it all the way to the end of the video now click on that subscribe button leave a like leave a comment we'd love to hear from you and look at our players for more ideas and tips that can help you with learning to code and remember don't do it the long way do it the mr long way